Today, I'm going to be re-attempting my GCSE maths paper that I did about four years ago. Okay, this is the second part to me redoing my maths GCSE paper. Yes, I know, I know this video was supposed to come out like two weeks ago, but look, get off my bum. If you haven't watched the previous part, I'll suggest you watch it, link in the description, and it's also the last video on my channel. But yeah, make sure you guys watch this whole video, you know, it's actually entertaining, so, you yeah, know, enjoy it, man, and I'll see you in a bit. Given that n can be an integer, mm -hmm. such that n is greater than 1, it proves that n squared minus n is never an odd number. Ooh, ooh, let me have I'm having flashbacks to GCSEs. Flashbacks to their past papers. Flashbacks to the teachers, yeah. Like, I had a few Leng teachers. Some, actually, no, I didn't have any Leng math teachers. That's a complete lie. But I'm having flashback though. To prove that something never can be odd, you have to prove that it's even. You have to prove that it's a multiple of two. Therefore, that didn't help me. You know what the issue is? Here's the issue, man. Again, education system, I'm on your ass. When you haven't done something in so many years, this just seems so foreign. What do you mean n, n over one proves that n squared minus n is a odd number? What? If n is even, n minus one, see why are they just put in there English? I'll happily miss out on those two marks, but I don't need them. They're useless anyway, they stink. Find the exact value of tan, see I can't do this. See I can't do this because I don't remember what tan 60 or tan 30 and sin 60 is. I think sin 60 is half, but there was like a thumb, there was a finger thing I like. So I'ma go with that. The answer was a half for this one. Yeah, you know what long day. The diagram shows a solid shape, the shape is a cone on top of a hemisphere. What's a hemisphere? The total volume of the shape is K pi cm cubed with k is an integer. What's the value of k? Oh, this is so long. Man. I know that's the volume of a sphere because I searched it up. <laughs> but it's half of one. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting somewhere. We're actually getting somewhere, guys. We're actually getting somewhere. So, so we got. Oh my goodness, I'm smart. Um, it's in here, man. It's in here. I told you, don't ever flip and play with me. Everything is up here. Look, are you listening to me? Everything is up here. The answer is, do you see that? You can't even see, see focus, focus. 36, K is 36. This one, I, this one, if I don't get what I'll fall for this one, really, I'm so certain I got this right, I'm so certain. It was at this moment that he knew, he ooh, fucked up. Ooh. Back, I got it wrong, back, back, I got it wrong, back, back, I got it wrong, back, back, I got it wrong. Back. Okay, just looking at this now, I can't lie, my brain needs to get checked because why is three cubed nine? How did I put, how did I, how, how did I get to that answer? If I put three cubed equals 27, then I would have got the right answer. But unfortunately, yeah, I need help. I'm gonna give myself two out of four for that, man. I got shaked out of that thing. <laughs> Look at the number of different three digit numbers that can be set for the combination lock. Do I have to write out all the different combinations? Oh, okay. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, I can't lie, do the first 10, I'm tired. Can't lie, I'm a guess. I'm a guess. 5 times 5 times 5. 125. How many of the possible three digit numbers have three different digits? I can do that. I can do the second question. One. Okay, I can't lie, I give up. I'm gonna go with 25 and just hope for the best. This one, yeah, I can't lie, guess a Rooney. Oh. oh my goodness, I'm smart. What? 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 Huh? What? <laughs> what just happened? Ignore the attire, man, it's 3 a.m. 125. Bro, when I tell you, I, that was a complete guess. Given that, that, Find the possible values of x. What the? F no. <laughs> you man are boiling it. You man are boiling it. I'm gonna just write this because I think this is correct. I'm just write that because I think that's correct. What does that even mean? Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. 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 I don't know if I'm being stupid, but is is this just saying two x squared equals three x plus five? Do I have to do quadratic formula? <laughs> do I have to do quadratic formula? Much, much, much later. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Look, guys, we're back. This video was so long, my camera battery died. I can't lie, we got, we got here. So what? Do we have to do the quadratic formula? But we don't have a calc, we don't have a calculator. No, no, no. Okay, let me just, let me just write something. I got that. I got that. But we're gonna go with that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Their working out was a lot simpler than mine. I'll take that one, that one. You know what? Express that plus that in the form that where a is an integer. Well, they need to stop using integer. 
Why can't they just say number? Oh wait, oh I can do this. I bro, shout out you, Mrs. Barnes, my math teacher, man, because I don't even think she was my math teacher. I think she was the other set. Shout out you, Mrs. Barnes, though, because you know what I'm saying I actually remember how to do this. I think I remember how to do this. And that's the answer right there. Boom, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Express that in the form of that, my B and C are. See again, these are the laws of indices. Why do indices have laws as well? Like, come on now, like you're not prime minister. It's not the government. I might be a bit stumped on this one. Like, I'm just looking at it. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. And then I have to put it in the form of root B over C. Like, I'll be honest. I don't really know what I'm doing. Keep, change, flip, yeah, that's the action. Everybody wanna know how we're dividing fractions. Anyone know that song? I'm not tripping. Change, change flip, yeah, that's, that's the action. action. Everybody's gonna know how we're dividing fractions. Unfortunately, we're not dividing fractions right now, so. <clears throat> I got that so far. All, all I did was I just tried to do root three to power seven. Um, I don't know if that's correct. I now got this. I just flip it. <laughs> I'm just gonna flip it. You know what? That's my answer. That's my answer. Next question. Three, boom. <laughs> yeah, God help this one. God help this question, man. Because I got that horrendously wrong. I got to this point. I got to this point, and then I gave up. How am I actually gonna take that, you know? I got to this point, but I just didn't know how to put it into the form that. I'm not an examiner, but I think I deserve too much, you know what I'm saying? Given that x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals that, for all values of A, find the value of A and the value of B. So back in the day, I swear there's a, I had a little box method that I did. Um, but I don't remember how to do box method. Huh. I'm lost. My box method don't work. <laughs> the box method never let me down. Just let me down. Guys, I'm stumped. Guys, I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. Okay. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this question. Hence, oh, hence. You know when you see hence, that means you need to have the answer for the flipping question before, man. <sighs> hence, write down the coordinates of the turning point of the graph. I don't know. Moving on. This one, yeah, God help this one. I, I didn't even attempt either of them. Hence is inversely proportional to P. What does inversely proportional mean again? Given that H is a 10, the T is a 1 over P is a 6. Why don't you know when they give you like a bunch of space, that means you're in trouble because that means there's going to be a lot of working out. What am I doing? Sorry. Okay guys, look, I think I think I came to an answer. You guys didn't even see me write it because I can't lie, my memory card my memory card ran out of storage. I, be, I think I shot this video for, for about two hours, guys. You know, I'm literally gonna wrap this video up. We've got 120 over T. Woo! 120 over root T. Thank you. Four marks. I thought I was gonna flop everything. You know, it's actually not going too bad. The function F and G are such that the joint on the boom. Find the inverse of F. What does inverse mean again? Oh wait, no wait, hold on. I think, I swear inverse is just, I swear inverse just means like find X. I just found out x, because why not? Given that the function fg equals the function 2gf, show that 15x squared minus 12x minus 1 equals 0. Five blood clot marks. Five blood clot marks, okay man. Okay, okay, I think I can actually do this. God just filled me with the knowledge, with the wisdom, I swear. Like, I just had a little flat, like a flashback to GCSE. I don't know, a flashback, man. I can sense it. Literally just a boom, my brain started working again. I'm gonna plug 3x minus 1 into this x. Oh, now we can actually do the box method and it should actually work now, hopefully. I love the box method, man. Even though, like, people stopped using it after the age of eight. I always kept it, man, because, like, man, it just never let me down until today. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely got it wrong. Oh, no, I got it wrong. Sorry, I got it wrong. Oh, I realised where I went wrong. Oh, my day, the box method's failing me again. Okay, no, I can't like this is my fault. It's supposed to be minus one. I'm a donut, I'm a donut. I can't like the answer's still wrong. I feel like this is the right method. I just haven't got the right answer. I can't lie, I'm gonna come back to this question. Look, 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 we got one more question, man. What the hell is this? Yeah, well, I flopped that completely. Okay, I flopped this question completely. Let's just ignore that one ever happened. But the next one, I can't lie, I'm not gonna read through all the working out because, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, that one's looking kind of similar to mine, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take all five marks. Was it five out of five? Beautiful. 
I'm a breath bull. Why the number of rice powder and the number of rice powder that were in the bag for the general? Generally, I actually remember. I remember this question kind of. I remember the last question was a probability tree. At the same time, I also have no idea. Like, I don't really know what probability tree is nowadays. I haven't used that since GCSE. Oh, guys, I'm, guys, guys, I'm tired. Guys, guys, I've been here for about five minutes, man, just looking at this question, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I got this. I got to a probability tree. I didn't even know if I was supposed to do a probability tree. That whole bit when I was saying I remember there was a probability tree at the last question, I was lying. Okay, congratulations, you got me. I was lying. This one, I didn't even get an answer. <laughs> there wasn't even a probability tree. I was talking about all this stuff about probability tree. There wasn't even a, prob a, prob a, prob a probability tree. And that is the paper now done. We're gonna count up all the marks and we're gonna see what we end up getting. Okay guys, results are in. After however many hours of doing this mass paper, the votes have been counted, recounted, and verified. Can I get a drum roll please? The mark I got is 43 out of 80. Cha -cha. Yeah. You know what, I'll take that you know, because it's over half, it's over half. Let's actually find out the percentage of that. 53.75%, so we're gonna round it up to 54%, you see know I me? Mean? I'ma now quickly find out the, the grade boundaries for 2019. I'm gonna see what I'm comparing. The grade boundaries are obviously for three papers. I've only done one. I'm gonna have to divide all that by three. After, after figuring out the grade boundaries, I can't like, it took me a minute to figure out the grade boundaries. <laughs> Um, I got a six. I'll take that, you know. I'll take that. I was about three marks off a seven. If you looked at all the stupid mistakes I made, you know what I'm saying? I made at least four or five stupid mistakes. Yes, I did also give myself one or two extra marks, but we're going to ignore that. Technically, I got a seven. <laughs> I'll take a six thinking that I ain't really looked at maths in the past two years. I ain't done a maths paper in the last two years. Yes, I did A-level maths. Yes, this paper did take me eight hours to do. Uh, yes, I did even go on my phone to even find out the formula of an equation. But besides all of that, We'll take it. <laughs> Look, I'm sweating, bro. Bro, I'm sweating. I'm precipitating, bro. Guys, it's 3.30 in the morning. Guys, this video actually took me about eight hours to do. <laughs> bro, my phone ran out of storage. My camera ran out of battery. My camera ran out of memory. Everything went wrong, but we finally finished the video. Let's just hope I can actually get it edited. When I finish recording, I'm probably gonna get my ass beaten by my parents for being too loud in it. Drop a like for some protection over me. If you guys wanna see me do this video again, but with my A-level maths paper, yeah, that one, a lot of fellas inbound. Drop a like, put it in the comments. Love, peace, prosperity, like Jay Huff said. And I'll catch you, man, in a bit. Hopefully next week, innit? Next week, Sunday, hopefully. Uh, okay, bye, have a good day. Love, my butt hurts. So that was a bit weird, I'm just doing the video. Bye!